Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, you see this big canvas of brown, eh? Hmm. Well, I was at uh, Home Depot and anytime you see bare premium, deep base, satin enamel, this is a good paint to use for cells and for pearls. And I paid $2, $2. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I have put a little bit of, and I might even put a little bit more. This is gold and titanium white, just to lighten it up a bit. There we go. Make it a little bit more palatable. I did um, go ahead and I painted over another painting. So that's where that's at. And it's dry already. So <clears throat> that is my one of my base coats. This is another base coat, which is drips from my previous canvases. So I'm going to use both of those. This I've got lots, lots of. <laughs> these are custom colors. Um, this is Modern Masters in pearl white, mixed with um, Arteza Golden Hour and just a squirt, tiny little, like a drop of uh, Cornacido Nicolaso Gold and a little bit of titanium white. And I made this beautiful buttercream color. I just love it. I could almost eat it. This is uh, Amsterdam. All my paints are pretty much opaque. So they're, they're, I did a couple test tiles and they really reacted well. Um, this is Permanent Red Violet Light by Amsterdam. And I put a squeege of Liquitex Basics Acrylic in Quinacridone Magenta. Magenta is going to be a hot color this year, by the way. And this is just my leftover blues that I've been dealing with for the past few days. So this is, um, oh gosh, Modern Masters Venetian Blue. And it's got some phthalo turquoise in it from Golden. It's got, uh, it's just got all the blues that I have. I, I think I, oh, it was a uh, boom gel. This is boom gel also in native purple yellow mixed with Mali ring neck blue. It's also a boom gel. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, ultramarine, like, oh, blah, blah. this is <laughs> ultramarine violet light. And I put some dioxazine purple in here from Golden Fluid. And I wanted to go with a different color palette, but I can't stay away from my blues. So I mixed, I had this um, turquoise green from Amsterdam, and I put a shot of phthalo turquoise in it. This is straight, what is this? Sky blue light from, from Amsterdam. So I'm gonna get all of these out of the way uh, so I can concentrate on my canvas. So I'm going to do a split canvas. I think I'm going to put the violet, this, the drips down here, and then um, probably going to put more brown than the, um, the violet. So let's just flood the canvas. The drips really reacted well too. just going to put them on one at a time. I find it's easier to do it that way. And then I'll just clean up my corners later. Ah, I can do it right now. So, you know, I've been working with some resin. Resin is like, it's like um, some kind of just really bad joke or some kind of really bad, um, pour this down. Ooh, look at that. It's like a cafe au lait. Um, yeah, it, you get stuck because if you're doing, oh geez, that's way too much. Um, if you're doing a piece and you happen to make a mistake on one, then you're kind of caught, caught up in this never ending cycle of doing resin because you can't just do one piece and you have to like, get another piece out just in case there's some extra resin left. So it's like, uh, I can't, I want my dining room table back. I want my dining room table back. 
and I don't know when that's going to happen. So I'm kind of, um, <laughs> kind of pissed off that I started this in the first place. So I don't know, but I had to resin. And I did put out a video, you guys probably saw it, well, maybe you didn't. If you didn't, there, I'm more of a fluid artist, and let me tell you something, resin is not my favorite. It is not, no. It's, there's just too many variables. Um, cat hair, dust, bubbles, you have to have the right environment, can't be too humid, can't be too cool. Of course, it's not cool in my place, so. Ooh, I'm really liking this. All right, so my colors are going to pop. And this stuff is really reactive, guys. Wow, that's pretty just like it is. I think I'll like it. <laughs> Knew I would. So I'm gonna put the darker colors here and then the lighter colors up here. Uh, uh, uh. What do I start with? Wow. Oh. I know I'm putting a lot of paint on. A lot of color because this stuff does eat it up pretty good. Um, it's already starting to sell up down here. All right, that's a lot, a lot of paint. Okay, I'm gonna tilt it back and forth this way and then we'll decide. I'll go up this way. Hook that magenta onto the edge over there and then bring it back. And then keep coming down. All the way. I said this stuff really re is reactive so once I move the color off the canvas it's still going to react big time I'm wondering if I should have put a white in there I can always add more color yeah because I have way too much paint on and what do I need more paint <laughs> all right guys I'm going to I've got a handful of paint here going back this way and I might not do a whole lot to this one I might just let it react just for giggles to see what it does Ooh, pretty. so I'm not really liking this brown on the bottom oh, lots and lots of paint and but there's going to be purple coming through there. Hmm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Now I have to tilt enough paint off. And we do want, wow, look at it react up there already, eh? That magenta, holy geez. All right, I'm gonna leave that because I really like I really like that purple and the um, the purple and the, the teal together. So I'm gonna put you, uh, there we go. I think that's, I tried this with white too, and it was, um, I don't know, it just kinda, it just wasn't right. White wasn't right. So you can use your drips, 
this is should all end up turning like um, that pretty lavender color and I'm going to tilt um bleh, not tilt it I am going to torch it This stuff really reacted a lot. Um, yeah, the paints are, the paint is crazy reactive. So I got cells or pearls from my table drips right here. I mean, sorry, I'm going too fast. And they didn't react as much as I thought they would. Probably didn't tilt it enough, see? Um, but yeah, this is a different color combination for me. And I don't mind using the brown background. Um, I really like that golden hour. And there's tons of lacing here, although it's really faint. So lesson learned, um, I'm gonna have to put less of the bare satin enamel paint in. I don't know what else I can put in with it. But, geez, look at that, that lacing. Isn't that crazy? And I think I see a bug. I'm not sure. But yeah, different. Different is good. Look at that lacing. So I might mix this paint with another paint um, so it's not so reactive, but check that out. That's really cool. <laughs> It looks like it's like a, a cat with two eyes and 
the nose. Yeah, kind of strange looking cat, but yeah. I see cats all the time. So please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to, if you see a piece you'd like to make your own, you can contact me privately at gcfluidart at gmail.com. Ciao for now.